Okay, in this third part of this video series, I want to show you how to assign now these uh, new hires to the respective classes. And in order to be able to do that, we first have to schedule these classes. But there's one thing that I forgot in my first video, and I just want to show you what I'm talking about. You remember that we said in our class two, uh, we need this grade sheet on day three. I just opened this event. You say, I always said the student has to receive this grade sheet and on the grade sheet there is the uh, record item three. Okay, and so this grade sheet must then be also part of our development path. Then that is what I forgot in my first video. But of course, it's not too late. We still can do that here. Uh, we have to select here our grade sheet, this one. We move it over here at this moment. So here the student at the same time receives the record item three and the grade sheet. And uh, the record item three is part of the grade sheet. So basically in the class, the class refers to the grade sheet, but when the student successfully performs the class number two, the instructor will grade him with this grade sheet. And on the grade sheet, there is this record item number three. I will show you that later. Okay, so that is what we had to do before we go back to the mint page. And now let's say we need one class one and one class two. So we go in and say, this is new one request for class one. Okay, so that is class one. Everything is fine. And let's say, for example, we schedule that in February. Uh, let's say on Tuesday, February 9th. That's it. Okay, and now we have to schedule that. Just click on schedule. Everything is done. And now we do the same thing for class two. And let's say class two starts a week later. One request, class two. Class two. So we pick the date, February, and I would say 16th of February is this one. Okay. And we also schedule that by selecting create project schedule. That's nice. Now we did that. Now we have two classes. Let's say go to project start. This is class two. And if we select this, we see both. And a week earlier, we have class one. Perfect. And now comes the interesting point. When we did the automatic scheduling, the system assigned automatically instructors and classrooms. But why didn't the system assign automatically the students? That is because we did not select an eligibility. I just go through that again so that you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Class one, for example, you can see if I open this, we have here our slot groups, CRM instructor, classroom, in-flight instructor, but for the students, we have no eligibility, just the amount, 10 students. That's all what we say. And that is the reason the student slot groups has no eligibility. And that is why the system did not schedule automatically our students. And we do that in another way. We select cabin crew one, and there is one menu item opportunity report. We select this one. And here you can see the system now looks at scheduled classes where the student can get the desired record items from the development path. So we need record item one, we need record item two, we need the final exam, the record item three. There is no class with record items three, so you don't see anything here. And the student needs the flight attendant grade sheet, this one. So, okay, and the system offers you the possibility to assign the student just to this event. You remember the record item one was on day two, or you assign the student to the whole project, to the whole class, class one, from 9th of February to 11th of February, and that is what we do. So we put him onto this class, and for our grade sheet, we put him onto this class. 
and now we select a sign. Yes, we want a system. Now put our cabin crew one on the selected slot groups. That's nice. So now we can see that our cabin crew now is on class one and also is on class two. And this is what we also do with all the other cabin crew members. Okay, and we go and say uh, this class and this class. We don't have to pick something for record item 2 because record item 2 is automatically given when we put the student on class 1, right? You see, you can see that this is also class 1. So we don't have, if we put the student onto class 1, we know that the student receives record item 1 and record item 2. So if we do that, we don't have to worry about record item 2. Assign. Yes. Okay, and close. Same for number three. Opportunity report. So what we could do also is we could say we don't care about record item one. We put them here on our class one. And for our grade sheet, we put them onto class two. Right, assign. Yes. Okay. And close. Cabin crew, four, same thing. This one and this one, assign, yes. Okay, and close. Opportunity report, this one, this one, assign, yes. Okay, now our five students are on this class. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how they receive the record items. I show you how they get the record items, how they are graded. And then we also will look into the evaluation to see what is the progress of these students. But that is something that I want to show you in the next videos.